so welcome back guys in our previous videos we already learned why we are using python and some specifications of python how to run a python in cmd and why we are using cmd for this and lastly types and operators like uh, the basic algebraic operations strings so let's continue this video after this part that is the string part and in python the length of the string means the number of elements contained in a string and its indexes start at zero and ends with length minus one that is uh, you know suppose a word hello h e double l o so hello okay zoom in a little bit so the h will be stored at index 0 e will be stored at index 1 similarly l for 2 the second n for 3 and the last one is for 4 okay so here the length is 5 but the last value is 4 i mean the index of the last value is 4 so the first point is indexing starts at 0 and ends with length minus 1 it is clear right so so these are the indexing and slicing of string is in the third bracket i it fetches the ith element in the string in the string s okay that so if you put uh, s in the third bracket 2 it will print uh, l because in the second position the value of string is l 0 1 2 okay that's why if you put s2 then it will print l so let's clear this concept by open, opening cmd cmd and enter the python shell so now let's uh, you know write a string hello so you can see i didn't write the double quotation mark i write only single quotation it will find it don't get any error so let's put the value as yeah it is assigning correctly now just write s in the third bracket to third bracket close it will print l because l is in the second position of the string s so the next one is s i then clone j so let's uh, read all these points first then we will do practical on it so the third one is s i colon j it fetches all the elements in between the ith and jth position in the string so the fourth one is s then in the third bracket colon and i it fetches all elements till the ith position in s similarly if you put i colon or j colon it fetches all the elements from the jth position onwards in string if you write these kind of things like s in the third bracket i colon j colon and k it fetches all the kth elements from ith position to jth position that means if you write uh, you know 0 to 5 not 5 in uh, the no the hello it is the end element is 4 right so if you write like this s the first ith position is 0 and jth position is 4 and if you write k equals to 2 then it will print the second element of the string like 2 l i mean e and l let's do an example here s 0 colon then we have to write the last position that is you can see s i colon j that is j means the last position that is 4 then we have to put the value of k this 2 and assuming it is 2 you can put anything like 2 3 anything so it will print h and l that means the 0th value and after a gap that is l s uh, minus i 
that executes the ith element from the right side that is from the end like if you write s in the third bracket minus 1 it will print the o let's do that also s in the third bracket minus 1 it will print o see it's printed o so let's do this fourth and fifth uh, point also like s in the third bracket colon 2 it will print till the second position that means h and e 0 1 so if you write 2 colon then it will print to second position onwards okay it will print second position on onwards that means l l o the second position has e value and after that l l o so it will print l l o okay so in array you might if you do c c plus plus you might uh, familiar with this kind of you know third bracket thing in array you have to do this kind of things but in python you can also use these kind of things in string also but in other language you can't do like this normally you have to do a lot of steps steps for that so now we'll learn about the lists lists are content in the similarly third bracket that means lists indexing works like a string indexing it can contain strings integers nested lists etc so see the first example l1 equals to in this third bracket 1 2 3 that means it is containing the integer values the, in the second example it's containing two string values and similarly in the third one the first two are the integers second one is a list and the third one is a string so the second was is a list inside another list that means it is called as a nested list and the fourth one is a empty list okay actually list is very important thing if you have any kind of doubts let me know in the comment section the fourth point is list are mutable that means the values can be changed they can grow and shrink in place so you can see the first example l1 equals to 0 1 2 3 so if you do like this i mean l1 and the third bracket it is the index of that list so if you put like this l1 the 0 equals to 4 that means a 0 value will change as 4 this 0 is the position of this list it is not the value of the list if you like let's uh, remove this 0 and put as 6 so that you won't get confused so l10 that means it will remove 6 and in the position of 6 it will put the value 4 okay so if you do like this again l10 it will uh, print 4 as a value so fifth one is indexing a list is similar to a string that means that means l1 i l1 i colon j that we previous previously learned we previously learned this thing so it is kind of similar in list also the sixth point is concatenation that means we can add to list by putting the plus sign so you can see the example uh, the first list contains one two three and the second list contains four five six if you add these two by putting a plus sign it will print like one two three four five six in repetition you can use this multiplication sign that is uh, asterisk sign so the first list multiply with three that means the first list will uh, print three times one two three one two three and one two three appending means you can add some values in the list we previously you know in the fourth point we saw that list is mutable that means we can modify the list so the, it is a kind of example of that point we can add any other value with that list or we can delete the values you see if you put like this l1 dot append 4 it will add uh, 4 after the values of l1 like 1 2 3 and it will add 4 after that 3 so it will be like 1 2 3 4 
the sorting tag means uh, you know this l5 list contains 1 2 3 5 4 6 it is not in the proper order if you put like l5 dot sort and th then the parenthesis it will print like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the tenth one is reversing if you uh, put this this parameter l1 dot reverse it will reverse the l1 that is 1 2 3 it will reverse as a 3 2 1 and this is the alternative way to take an input as a list like if you write this range 4 it means it will uh, show the values from 0 to 3 i mean the fourth position that is 3 and if you write this range 0 to 5 it will print from 0 to the fifth position that is 4 suppose suppose you don't want a list uh, from 0 you want a list uh, 1 to 4 then you can write the second one as a range the value content from 1 to 5 and the values will be this from 1 to the fifth position that means the fourth value actually it starts from 0 that's why if you put 1 it will start from 1 the 0 will be hidden now let's do some practical on list open comment prompt and the first one is uh, it is a mutable so we can modify it so let's see that l1 third bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 actually forget to add the equals to sign that's why it's showing the error so let's put the equals to sign over here now it contains a list in as a variable l1 now let's modify the value suppose we want to modify the second value that is 3 and we want to change it as you know suppose 4 okay so the third position i mean the second position is equals to 4 now put the variable name and it will show 1 2 4 so see it's modified now so similarly if you similarly let's do the sixth one concatenation let's put another list that is equals to third bracket 4 comma 5 comma 6 and let's uh, add those two lists l1 plus l2 see it's added two two lists 1 2 4 and the 4 5 6 because we modified the l1 first so the, it is containing 1 2 4 and the l2 is 1 4 5 6 now repetition l1 multiply with 3 it will repeat three times appendings if you want to add another number with a list you can put this one like l1 dot append bracket in the first parenthesis puts like 5 close it now put the value l1 at in, you can see it's added the 5 1 2 4 and 5 similarly you can short the values so you can do this in your pc so let's move on the next point that is the tuple uh, tuples are almost same like a list but list allows modification we saw that but a tuple in tuples you can't modify and it starts with a parenthesis uh, it contains in this first parenthesis it contains strings integer nested subtuples, sub tuples etc like uh, you know we saw that in the list also tuples indexing works like a string indexing tuples are immutable that means it can't be modified indexing a list is similar to a string that is t1 i t1 i colon j etc the concatenation repetition all are similar process as a list and to put a value i mean the, if you want to see the length of a tuple you have to write this l e n and in the first parenthesis put the you know the variable name so t let's do some practical so let's do some concatenation t1 in the first bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 and t2 in the first bracket 4 comma 5 comma 6 and let's add both of them l1 plus t2 i mean t1 plus t2 so c1 2 3 4 5 6 it is concatenating successfully 
but if you want to modify the tuple it won't modify it won't be modified you can see that also like t1 dot appending with 5 you can see tuples object has no attribute as a append it can't be modified like if you wanna do some modification like this in the previous one in list we did we did the modification by putting the address i mean the index of the list so let's do that also first of all let's see whether uh, the values are addressing i mean indexing successfully or not t1 in the third bracket let's put zero it will show the one see it is showing one that means the indexing is created successfully let's modify that thing t1 zero sorry t1 zero equals to four okay now you can see tuples object doesn't support item assignment that means it can't be modified so this is the main difference between list and tuple and now coming to next array it is not included in python but we can add third party packages to access the arrays like numpy they are very useful in computational maths and physics so for an example if you want to use the arrays you have to write from numpy import start start means it will import all the you know all the comments from this numpy package and then you can write x as a variable name and equals to array in the first parenthesis and in the third parenthesis one two three suppose you want to create a three by three matrix you can write like this mat equals to array the three rows and columns value so there are some similarities and differences between arrays and lists both are mutable okay they both short and reverse the attributes like putting this short or reverse tag their slicing and indexing is almost similar but in array this plus and the multiplication sign won't refer to the concatenation and repetition that means you in array you can't do this concatenation and repetition okay so that's it for this video guys Please subscribe this channel to get the latest updates. We will continue this season from the next video. Thank you.